massive opportunities. Um, as you know, um, Kenya has experienced an explosion in technology, in, in mobile, the affordability of, of broadband. Uh, Kenya is now being regarded as uh, the Silicon Valley of the continent. It is the gateway into the rest of East Africa. Very vibrant uh, media uh, industry and a very vibrant and growing PR industry. Um, we're seeing um, companies out of Europe, Asia, looking at Kenya as, as, as an HQ base for the rest of the Africa operations. So we're seeing massive opportunities to partner with local uh, PR companies, uh, to acquire um, what we call homegrown um, indigenous multinationals that are growing out of Kenya into the rest of the, of the continent. And obviously those inbound companies or, or prospective clients coming out of Asia, coming out of Europe and also coming out of South Africa looking at uh, Kenya as, 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 as the next high growth uh, market. We see Ghana um, exploding in terms of economic growth. Uh, last time I was there, there was construction everywhere. It felt like I was in South Africa pre the World Cup. Um, the industry is, is, is growing. Um, we're seeing more and more uh, privately owned uh, media outlets uh, coming to the fore, which obviously presents the opportunity for that diverse a, a, a range of platforms that, that, that can be utilized. I think Ghana does have the potential to serve as a hub into the rest of West Africa as to how quickly it, the country does that and as to whether that is to a similar scale as Nigeria, it remains to be seen. But definitely a market, I will advise any PR uh, company out of South Africa, out of Europe, um, to look at a significant presence in that market. I think without the exception of our industry, some of the challenges that one will identify in different parts of the continent present opportunities. And one of those challenges that present themselves to, um, to an opportunity in Nigeria is the fact that newsrooms are massively underfunded. Um, journalists are not as uh, uh, highly skilled as one would expect in some of the far more developed and sophisticated markets from uh, a newsroom management point of view. And there's a massive opportunity for companies to contribute in the upskilling and capacitating of, of journalists, um, thereby building a meaningful um, relationship uh, with journalists um, instead of a transactional relationship that says, here's a piece of information about me, um, go and write a nice uh, uh, article. There are obviously other challenges uh, such as journalists not um, in some newsrooms uh, earning uh, salaries, having to rely on their stories being published in order to get paid, um, and that presents itself um, as, as a major challenge when you're trying to operate on the ground. But then again, if those journalists are assisted and armed with information and they're properly capacitated, um, they can also grow their careers. We're also seeing a phenomenon of um, more and more international media or news outlets um, setting up bases in Nigeria, our own ENCA has a bureau there, um, CNBC, uh, Africa, the likes of um, the, the FT, and a number of other esteemed outlets that have set up uh, uh, offices in Nigeria, which then speaks to the um, growth opportunity in, in, in Nigeria. Um, more businesses are looking at Nigeria, which can only be good for our industry and the growth of our industry.